In this section, we'll be going over the different task types available in the Cutover platform, what each of them are, and how they can be used in your runbook. When you create a task, it's required to specify the kind of task it is, as each task type has a predefined behavior that can be used in a variety of ways depending on your use case. There are several task types available to choose and each task type is represented by different shapes so it can easily be distinguished visually within your task list and node map. We will be diving into the following task types, normal, milestone, checklist, validation, SMS, email, call, branching, branch header, and finally, custom tasks. A normal task is represented by a circle shape. It is an activity assigned to a user or teams with a duration field so that you can define how long a task should take to complete. It requires the assigned users or teams to start the task with a single click, execute an activity, and then complete the task with another click. Because it has a duration field and requires the users to mark the start and end tasks, Cutover captures all interactions within the audit log as well as the data on how long the task actually took to complete. It is useful when it comes to reviewing and analyzing your past runbook or if you're planning your next runbook. A milestone task is represented by a diamond shape. It is typically used to capture key milestones or stages in your runbook plan and has zero duration. It only requires the assigned users or team to start the task with a single click, then it will automatically complete the task. Milestones are captured in the runbook dashboard and thus consideration should be given to how you want to make use of this task for reporting. For orchestrators and stakeholders that are observing the execution of the runbook, milestone tasks provide quick and easy visibility of the progress. Checklist task is represented by a square bracket shape. It has a zero duration and a due date field where you can define when the checklist task should be completed by. A checklist item requires the assigned users and teams to start the task with a single click and then it will automatically complete that task. It is commonly used to capture the activity items you're required to complete before embarking on the core activity of the runbook, which can also be seen as a reminder and a confirmation from the assigned users and teams. A validation task is represented by a square shape. It has a duration field and an additional modal pop-up that requires the response from a user upon completion that is recorded and enables a result to be captured. It requires the assigned users and teams to start the task with a single click, execute the activity, complete the task with another click, and then input the validation result. For example, a pass, fail, not tested, with an optional commentary box. The test summary dashboard captures the results selected for any of these validation tasks. Moving on to communications tasks, Cutover offers three types of communications tasks, SMS, email, and call. They behave in a similar manner, but with different communication methods. All communication tasks are represented by a circle with a rounded bracket on either side with the assigned icon representing each type. This is commonly used to send out formatted messages during a run at a specific point in the runbook without having to leave the cutover platform. Recipients and content are sent in the task edit panel by clicking settings. A test message can be sent during this phase if desired. Recipients of the communication tasks need to be registered in the Cutover platform as a user or from an approved domain. An SMS task has a zero duration and requires assigned users and teams to start the task with a single click and then it will automatically complete that task. When a user has been assigned to an SMS task as a recipient, a message of up to 1600 characters can be created and sent during that run. An email task has a zero duration and requires assigned users and teams to start the task with a single click and then it will automatically complete that task. A test message can be sent during the phase if desired. Call task has a duration and requires the assigned users and teams to start the task with a single click and then end the task with another click. 
When the user has been assigned to a call task as a recipient, a formatted message can be created and spoken over a telephone call. A branching task is represented by a triangle shape. It has a zero duration, but an additional modal pop-up that requires a response from a user to select. Assigned users and teams are required to start the task with a single click, and then it will automatically complete the task once the branching decision has been selected for and confirmed. Branching tasks provide a way for you to selectively choose which legs or branches are executed in a particular part of your runbook. It allows conditional progression of your runbook activity and should be placed at the point in your runbook where assigned users and teams would make the decision as to which branches you want to execute and which branches you want to abandon. Select the task type as branching and set your dependencies as you would do normally. Clicking continue shows another dialog where again, you are asked to confirm your understanding of the specific task being abandoned. In this case, all tasks, including descendants, are listed here before you then go ahead and abandon the branches you don't want to execute. A branch header task is represented by a hexagon shape. It has a zero duration and will automatically start and complete the task without user interaction. It's mainly used in conjunction with the branching tasks. You can effectively name the branches by using the branch header task at the first task in each of the branches you define beneath the branching task. A branch header task is added at the start of each branch, which provides for a more useful way to describe your branch without having to go in and change the title of the first real executable task in each branch. And finally, moving on to a custom task, this is also represented by a hexagon shape and it can be configured with a set of available behaviors of your own choosing so it fits in with your organizational language and requirement for that task. Please speak with your customer success manager or support team for more information. If you have any further questions or need more information on the task types and how to use them, please refer to our help center resources at help.cutover.com Alternatively, you can reach out to your customer success manager or our support team.